And as you can see, I have very poor foot mobility, particularly I have very poor toe spacing capabilities, okay? And then my toes lack what we call dorsiflexion, which is imperative to accessing the back profiles or the posterior chain. If I have very poor dorsiflexion, what happens more often than not is all that weight distribution hits the ground very intensely and I'm unable to almost absorb that set movement. So I end up with a lot of knee issues, particularly like internal knee issues, groin problems and lower back problems because of my poor ability to create dorsiflexion. So it's imperative that I work on some of those, I guess, limitations and improve upon those. So something that I like to start off with is just simple toe movements where I'm sitting into a good profile where my pelvis is in a good position, shoulder blades are down and back. I'm literally just working on wiggling my toes. While I'm keeping this position, I'm working on that weight distribution. My knees are out, pelvis underneath me. And I wanna earn that posture as much as possible. I can do this for like 15, 20 seconds. Just wiggling the toes. And maybe what I could do is some toe crunches. I could do some toe lifts. I'm working on keeping the full footprint of my foot on the ground other than my toes. I'm also thinking intensely or intentionally. I'm trying to work each toe individually if I have that capability. Remember the shoes that we've been wearing for periods of time that may collapse our, our toe box and in turn add too much elevation off the ground are actually counterproductive to improving our feet and our ankle mobility. And with not having a nice understanding of the ground, if you're too high off the ground, you can't formulate a proper weight distribution you know, component or I guess balance when you're doing stuff like squats and deadlifts and sprinting and changing directions. So it's imperative we really improve our toe and ankle mobility because you don't want to end up with reoccurring or nagging injuries. So this is a huge uh, reason why I'm working on some of those things and maybe it'll be something that you can work on too. Okay, so after we've done some of those types of movements, now what we can get into is maybe some ankle mobility drills. I'm working on rotating over, stepping in, and as you can see this is dropping in quite a bit. You're allowing the inside profile of that set ankle joint to sit on its extreme position and I'm swinging a counterbalance to my upper body to avoid collapsing completely over. And you want to get to those extreme positions and formulate, I guess, an idea or an understanding of stability and balance when you're in these extreme positions because these will happen no matter what, especially when you're playing sports, it's just gonna happen. So you want some working knowledge or some exposure to those set positions. We'll go to the other side. You can do the same on the other side. Again, earning that momentum in the context of me controlling that over access so I don't roll my ankle per se. And that's a full body engagement of my shoulder blades. I'm creating a sway or a counter balance structure that will help me in that transition when I swing back and forth. So there'll be a few more videos on some of these things, but that's just a good start. Stay tuned.